Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial on how to build a chatbot with RAG and VectorDB. Today we are going to build this chatbot by employing cutting edge AI technologies like LangChain, Hugging Face Transformer, Chroma for VectorDB and Streamlit for frontend implementation. So firstly, we will see what all technologies we are going to use and its architecture. And then we will start building a chatbot by implementing VectorDB using Chroma and then frontend and backend development and then utilizing prompt engineering to guide our LLM model for better interaction with the user. And finally, I will be demonstrating the chatbot and conducting thorough testing using multiple sample queries. So let's get started. So there is a problem with the generic LLM. Well, when it comes to, come to the large language model, there are two possible scenarios. Firstly, the model may straightforwardly admit that it lacks information on a particular subject because it hasn't been trained on that specific data. And secondly, there is a potential for what's known as hallucination, where the model generates responses that are inaccurate or misleading due to its lack of specialized knowledge. This is because generic LLMs are not trained with detailed information in certain areas which typically fall outside the scope of general purpose LLM training data. To address this issue, one method is to fine tune the model and other is using RAG. So RAG, short for the Retrieval Augmented Generation, is a way to boost large language models by adding more data to them. It's made up of two main components, embedding and secondly, the retrieval and generation. To proceed with RAG, we are going to use tools like Hugging Face, Chroma, Streamlit and LangChain. So what is LangChain? LangChain is a framework for developing application powered by large language models, which means that it simplifies every stage of the LLM application lifecycle. It allows us to create agent capable of reasoning about issues and breaking them down into smaller subtasks by building stages and chaining complex commands together. And also you can add context and memory to completion using the LangChain. So here is our architecture. So firstly, we will load data using Lang LangChain PDF loader to read PDF document and extract text when and then dividing the extracted text into the smaller chunks. After that, employing Hugging Face Transformer to generate vector embeddings of the text chunk and we will store it in a vector DB. After that, when a user is received, a user query is received, the system will perform semantic similarity search using Chroma Vector DB and retrieve top three results, which is used by the LLM to generate response. Here is the complete process of the architecture we are going to follow today for building our chatbot. So now let's start building our chatbot. The initial step in the development is to choose a specific domain, which is crucial for tailoring the application's functionality to meet the needs of its intended user. So for this chatbot, I am selecting fashion industry domain, which will be focusing on providing styling advice and fashion recommendations. First and foremost, create a virtual environment and activate it after that, install all the dependencies mentioned in the screen. Now let's start building our vector DB implementation. For fashion chatbot, I chose Chroma as a vector database due to its compatibility with the LangChain and the specific requirements for handling fashion data. This decision supports efficient data retrieval based on the semantic similarity, which is crucial for delivering accurate fashion recommendation. Here is my da uh, sample data set, which I have used Convert, uh, which I have converted into a PDF format for easy text extraction. Now, step two is the PDF data loading. I use the PyPDF loader for Lang from LangChain to load, load the fashion data set PDF. This step ensures that the textual content needed for the vector database is accessible. Now coming to the uh, step three, text splitting. With the recursive character text splitter, I divided the loaded text into manageable chunks and then optimizing them for the embedding process. Coming to the step four is a text embedding using the hugging face embeddings, specifically the sentence transformer. I'm using the mini uh, LM L6 model. Uh, I converted the text chunks into the vector embeddings. This transformation is key to enable semantic based data retrieval and then generated the embeddings where, the, where it is stored in the Chroma vector deep database, which is set up with the directory to persist data. This database structures the data to facilitate quick and efficient similarity searches. Lastly, let's validate our vector DB implementation to generate top three results for the test query. What are some popular items for the winter? And here I got this result, which seems pretty accurate. Now let's proceed with the application development. For Fashion Bart, uh, I designed an interactive user interface using the Streamlit that enables user to submit natural language queries about fashion. 
This interface is intuitive and tailored to facilitate easy engagement with the system, ensuring user can readily seek fashion advice. Now let's proceed with the implementation steps. Firstly, let's initialize the environment and dependency by importing all the necessary libraries such as Grimlet, Langchain, PySkill, Lite, and .env for environment management. And then loading the environment variables like the Hugging Face API token to authenticate and utilize Hugging Face services. Now set up the language model and vector DB by initializing the Hugging Face model embeddings uh, to process and embed textual data and then configure Chroma as a vector database to store this embedding, which facilitate efficient retrieval based on the semantic similarity. Now configure the retriever within which the system to fetch the top three most relevant entries from the vector database, ensuring responses and precise and relevant. Now define a custom for, uh, prompt template. Here I'm using directive based prompt pattern, which will guide the language model on how to generate appropriate responses based on the query context and uh, use and interaction directives. Here's how this pattern helps in generating the responses. Then implementing a function get uh, responses that takes a user uh, question, processes it through the retrieval QA chain, and then extract the answer from the model's output. This ensures that uh, responses are not only accurate, but also tailored to the user's specific inquiry. And then customizing the streamlit layout to remove unnecessary white spaces and add aesthetic elements like header and sidebar messages. Also create an interactive element such as chat input and button to clear the chat history and enhancing user interaction. And finally, the user interaction flow using the st.chat input, uh, users uh, input their fashion queries, and then the system processes this input and retrieves relevant information, and then the language model generate response, which are then displayed back to the user in the chat interface. Let's run our application. To launch our chatbot app, make sure you have executed the vector DB implementation code first using the Python vector db.py and then run uh, our main application using the streamlit run file name.py. Here is my application. Uh, let's start with the evaluation and testing. So I will write some simple uh, queries. What are the top fashion uh, trends this summer? So it's give the perfect answer. The summer classic blue denim pants with a relaxed fit, adjustable straps and front with po pockets. All this data is fetching from the vector DB uh, and from our fashion database. Let's write another simple query. What type of shoes should I wear with the cocktail dress? And based on your query, I recommend pairing a cocktail dress with a pair of crimson velvet heels. Stiletto shoes and pointed toe will complement the dress style. So it's answering pretty accurate. Now let's proceed with some complex queries. I'm going to ask, I want to visit a museum in the afternoon and then have a lunch party at the palace. Uh, please suggest see, uh, some clothing outfit that will suit uh, both the occasions. For a museum visit in the afternoon, I recommend wearing something comfortable and stylish. Consider heritage wool sweater in burgundy. It would be a great choice. So it's giving a perfect answer to me uh, for all the occasion I have asked for the lunch party. It has suggested me the Nomad leather backpack. And all these um, options are coming from our data set. Let's proceed with some scenario-based queries. I have a travel plan this weekend that includes visiting historical sites, shopping, and attending a concert. Could you please suggest outfits and accessories to match styles for all this occasion? So it has provided me a pretty accurate response for historical site, has provided me a safari line and invest in khaki color. Then for shopping, Celestia Silk Nightgown. And for concert, regards Silk car with a proper um, accessory details. Let, let me ask an another question. So I have asked, uh, I'm going on a first date and want to make a good impression. What should I wear and what are some style, styling tips? So it has provided me a good response again, and also the styling tips. Let's write some 
irrelevant and out of scope query. I'm asking where is the movie collection? So it has responded as I'm a fashion assistant and I don't have uh, information about movie collection. I can help you with the fashion related queries. Please feel free to ask me anything about the clothing accessory or styling advices. So it's not going uh, uh, out of scope. That's correct. Let me ask another question. Why is the sky blue? Again, it has responded correct. Now let me ask some queries with a misspelling. It has understand properly men clothing rec recommendation, but the provided data only includes information about the dresses, jackets, and pants. So I have provided the data set uh, related to female um, clothing. So it, that's why it has not provided any men clothing recommendation. So it seems pretty correct. So we have tested all the simple queries, complex queries, scenario-based queries, and irrelevant and out of scope queries, as well as misspelled queries. And it has provided a pretty good response to every query. So fashion board demonstrated a high degree of effectiveness. And I have used a model Meta Llama 3 for constructing this chatbot, which, which has handled a both simple and complex queries as well as scenario and out of scope queries pretty well. And I provided an accurate response across most tested scenarios. So bot is particularly adapted uh, offering a fashion detailed uh, and advice tailored to specific activities and preferences. It also effectively managing the irrelevant and out of scope queries by politely redirecting them or suggesting relevant fashion related questions. Now let's check our bot with the different LLM model. Um, here I'm using a Mistral 7B instruct and compare the performance with the Meta Llama 3 8B. So after comparing the performance, I got that the Meta Llama 3 instruct model is performing better than the other model Mistral and it is utilized for generating responses. Um, this Mistral model has configured to maintain, um, like it has providing the vague responses which are not accurate, but the Meta Llama 3 providing me an accurate and focusing on generating response that are precise and tailored to the fashion related query. So I am going to continue with the Meta Llama 3 8B instruct, which is providing me an consistently relevant and accurate response. And it has also has high scope re uh, relevance and high response quality. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching.